Hey out there, I'm here to come and share my story with you, how I lost up to 60 pounds in a program that I designed. But right now, what I'd like to do is give you some idea of all the things I have been through in my lifetime that has struggled for a long time with my weight. But here, here it goes. When I was young, I surfed through life pretty easy, up and down, but I was always insecure and had low self-esteem. My sister with my sister and I, she was pretty much in charge of me. But my weight gain didn't start like until my early 30s, but I always felt inadequate in my 20s because I always worked out and worked out and I just never felt like I fit in or was ever going to get small enough or caught up with all these other people that just always look thinner than I. So I'm sure you guys know what that feels like. So let me say this. Um, trauma is not a very easy thing to get over. So uh, sometimes we eat a lot. Sometimes we don't eat at all. Sometimes we don't recognize that we eat stuff that we don't equate to our emotions, but we are. I'm one of these people that can go all day without eating and then terribly eat a lot of food at the wrong time in the wrong place. So my struggle is always now trying to eat five or six times a day and drink the water and do the things, even though I can still pretty much eat portion sized food that I love and healthier ways to eating my food I love, I still struggle with trying to eat all day. So just remember in my early, my early 30s, um, I had some more trauma happen to me and that was my father passed at a very young age and uh, I never quite equated my emotions to my food but at one point I gained 30 pounds I re realized okay I can lose that I lost it then I gained 50 pounds I lost a couple of pounds there and then I gained 70 pounds and was very overwhelmed on how I never really equated it to that trauma. So life catches up with you and I go and decide to lose some weight and I lost 45 pounds and I was excited and I felt young again and I felt like, you know, caught up in the world again with other people. But again, I gained the 45 pounds back and another 20 before my other trauma happened into my life. My mom got diagnosed with cancer and um, I was just trying to work on losing weight then, but that really consumed my time taking care of my mom, which I love doing. But uh, she also, through my lifetime, made me um, feel really bad about being overweight when she used to call me fat and maybe I could lose a few pounds. And uh, it really hurt my feelings when she would say these things. But then one day I let her know really how much it hurt me. And before she passed, she made a real good attempt not to point out the fat factor in the way she used to. So I'm really glad that we've settled our scores. But still, that didn't help me with my weight. Um, I went too far beyond what I would ever allow myself to be at 220 pounds. And uh, I just wasn't going to have it. And I wasn't feeling well, out of a fluke. I don't, you'll find through certain things that you hear in my videos, I don't like doctors. And I don't like pills. So what I did was, went to the doctor, and my genetics are either high blood pressure, or it's going to be cholesterol or heart disease. So I got pegged with cholesterol. Uh, I don't know if you guys know much about cholesterol, but... Uh, my cryotrisolites were 300 and I really can't say that word good but it was high I should be dead and the medicine was 600 milligrams for my cholesterol and I wasn't going to have it because I refuse to think that I'm going to give up my liver to have a good cholesterol level so it was diet and exercise and I sure didn't want to hear that word diet one more time so I fought with myself and I got in the car and I fought with myself more and, and I said, hell no, I'm not going to give up any of the food I love and I started doing things that I know how to start off losing weight, but then I realized that that wasn't really going to help me. So I started working on myself and finding ways that I want this to be my lifestyle 
not my death sentence. So I created this program called Shape Your Weight and Nutrition. And Life Changing Life in 90 Days has really changed my life. Even though I thought I was going to have to give up everything to be like everybody else. And I realized that all I really need to be is healthy. I don't need to be skinny. I don't need to be any of those things. All I need to do is be healthy and be conscious of what I'm putting in my body because nobody else is out there. Only me. And then what I know I can share with other people. So when this opportunity came up that I could help somebody because it helped me and I had ways of showing you how to get there without feeling like, oh, I got to go to the gym or I don't have anybody to work out with, I'm never motivated, I don't know what to eat, I don't know how to eat, I don't know what to look for, I don't know portion size, I don't know what's bad for me. Well, I have it all put together for you in a simple program called Shape Your Weight and Nutrition in 90 Days, like I said. It's a life-changing life program. It, after 90 days, if you don't feel you got what you needed out of it, you can just start right over again because it will be all there for you, ready to go again. And I thought, well, you know, I could stop there and be happy because I knew that I gave people a good chance in life to eat healthy and nutrition. But uh, I decided I was going to go back to school and be a personal trainer. And I thought, how wonderful it would be for people that always constantly say, I don't have time to work out or I don't have time to exercise. I don't have time to go to the gym. I'm telling you, it's been a tough road. I've had some plateaus and frustrations, but I've made this such a life for me that I don't let myself look back on what I used to look like. So if you see any of my pictures, I started there and I'm still working on getting down to a healthier weight. So thank you for joining me. We're going to bring that cardio up because then we want to bring it down to a lower cardio and this will help you in your weight loss. You're going to go up first with the weight and then bring your body up, okay? So here we go. We're going to go for one minute when you bring up your arms. Instead of going all the way up, you're going to go like that, okay? Here we go. And you just take the ball up in the air and then bend your elbows and then you're going to come back up. Side, side, up, side, side, 